Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. Listen, man, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, we're bringing out the big boat. The big boat is back. It's been a minute since I've been on it. I actually left it at my parents' house in Atlanta, so I was kind of stranded without it for a moment. And I actually got my parents with me today. So we got my mom right here. Then we got the big boat and the big Steve. Big Steve. Let, let's go over this trash talker real quick. I know he's going to talk so much trash. Got to get an up close shot on this trash talker. I don't know how I roll like this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's going down today, man? What's going down today is kicking their bass, is getting his bass whooped. I'm on a bike that he can't touch. He's fixing to get smacked. You've been out here recently. You've been out with old Perry Murphy. Y'all go watch my episodes of Fishing with Perry. We we have some fun. We laugh. We giggle. We raise a little cane. It's fun. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop into it. I'm going to drop Big Steve in the water. He wants to back the boat, or he wants to be in the boat because he can't get in my truck. <laughs> Mr. Limpy over here. Tell him what you did, too. He actually injured himself, like, know. moments before. What would you do, man? Just pure stupidity. He just stepped off the curb and wrecked my calf somehow i don't know but i can't climb in that big truck i'm too old for that stuff by the way if you guys want to check out some of the merch go ahead and hop on kickingtheirbass.com join the fam join the nation support your boy with big bass energy and uh, go out and catch some big fish join the nation i actually have something that's dropping today this is the first time you guys are seeing these and uh these aren't beanies these are um i always forget the freaking name what, what's it called? What's the, what's the fancy name for these? Pom pom ball. It's a it's a <laughs> pom pom ball. It's a pom pom beanie. What are, what are these called? What's the name of them? They're called um baklavas. No, that's a beanie. Not a baklava. It's a. <laughs> no, that's a what's it called? That's not a what? beanie, is it? This is actually not on it. This is going to be a separate beanie that we're going to drop here soon. This is a sample. It's going to be Big Bass Energy on it. You can go on the website right now and go copy one. See, this is about a six. This. It's a 10, so Dang you better boy. lock up your mama's and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Because it just went down. I kind of dig it. You know I think it keeps you warm, too. Like, this is actually some really thick material. We had some samples of some normal beanies come out, and they were just, they wouldn't cover your ears perfectly. But this, I mean, look at this big melon on this guy. It can still fit him on him perfectly. Look, it makes the ladies go crazy. Pom-pom toboggan? Toboggan. So go get your big bass toboggan on the website. I don't even know. Toboggan. Toboggan. <laughs> Go get you a toboggan today, <laughs> down below. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna drop Big Steve in the water. We're gonna rig up our poles. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're throwing. We're gonna be catching some big fish today. I'm excited about it. By the way, we're on Lake Lanier, if you didn't know. Lake Lanier is known for big spotted bass. So I'm hoping we're gonna go catch some big spots. This brings me back to my roots. I actually grew up fishing on this lake and uh, I just love fishing for these big spots. So let's go ahead and back Big Steven. Oh yeah, just like the good old days. At least he's walking down here like a man to take his butt whooping. Whoop the whoop over here. Imagine if I just fell in the water before all this. That would've been great. All right, so we just made it to our first spot. We're at a place right next to the ramp, and uh, I have all my like bank fishing stuff on recently just because, like I said, I haven't been on the boat. So we're gonna cut this off. This is the chatter dunk that I've had a lot of good luck on recently. I've been throwing this thing, I think, for four or five weeks without breaking it off. I actually bent off the hook and everything multiple times. I have no idea how I have not lost this chatter bait, but it's my little lucky white and chartreuse chatter dunk. We're gonna start off with a underspin today. Um, this is one of my favorite baits to throw of all time. I do apologize for the yard work in the background, but I haven't thrown one of these in a while, and this was one of my confidence baits back in, I'd say 2014 through 2016. This was like my favorite bait of all time was an underspin or a fish head. It just catches the fish, especially the spotted bass. I mean, you can just crush them on it. If you guys watched one of my winter Lanier videos from last year, I caught that like four and a half pound spot in like 65 foot of water, I think it was, um, on an underspin. So hopefully we'll get on some deep bass today. Pulled into this creek, we scanned out here at the mouth of it, right down the ditch in the middle, and there was a ton of bait. So I'm actually gonna go right back over that, just make sure we're not fishing dead water. And chuck this underspin, and we'll talk about how I'm throwing it here in a moment. We're just gonna put a little tiny paddle tail on the end. This is like a white ice color, it's not a straight pearl. So we're just taking a basic little paddle tail. I believe this is like 3.75 inch. Yeah, it's about a four inch pot paddle tail. This one's like a wide ice. It's got pearl and uh, that clear translucent with sparkles. My bait's not perfect, I ain't fishing it. There we go, right there. Boom. Got some beautiful little underspin. 
the paddle tail. See how you can tell there's like a pearl, just a basic white on top. Then you got this translucent color on the bottom, half the bait with sparkles in it. And it's got a regular pearl head underspin. So that's perfect. We're gonna start fishing. We're gonna scan right here and see if we can find some more bait, see if we can find some fish stacked up on the bottom and um, go from there. Hopefully we'll have a awesome day. Alrighty, let's go ahead. I saw this, uh -huh. all that bait out there and I was just putting two and two together. Figured we would try it. Let's we'll see. It was weird, like you wouldn't ever scan them in that bait, but you drop it in there and you can see them come out of it. There's fish to the left. See that? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. They're following you. Yeah, I'm about to get one. Right here. Watch this. They'll bite it. That has to have like five fish falling down right away. Watch this. Whoa. What are you doing, man? Look at him. Look at them all. There's one on me right now. Look, he followed me up. You see that? Watch, I'm gonna stop it. You see him following me down? See, these are catchable. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now, I'll show you on my graph. We have all this bait. It's all slick of bait. That's my line going down right there with the spoon. These are all bass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are all bass that followed me down. They just weren't interested. We gotta, we gotta fire them up. All right, spot number two. See how it treats us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> start off with this fish head and then we'll, as we start, we're only on 30 foot, man. Oh, oh, I ain't gonna be able to hook that. That thing friggin' launched, launched me right there. He hit it twice. Just went thump, thump. This man about to hit. Bro, this man, man about to hit. <laughs> you good? I was talking to the camera and I was like, this guy's about to hit. Like he was literally about to hit and I didn't know if I should say something. Like he looked back at his at his boat and he looked at the bridge. I'm like, dude, you are not fitting that. And so we like started to put it in reverse. I'm like, all right, he's gonna back up and he just went right through, dude. His poles were like bent over, <laughs> his whole roof of his boat was scraping across. Yeah, I got it on camera. I was like, oh my gosh, what's this guy doing? 
All right, a little update. We haven't caught anything yet. Big Steve guy trip. I'm not really getting my money's worth right now. <laughs> he said he's gonna take us to his honey hole. He said he has one honey hole that we haven't hit yet. What do you think? <laughs> so if his honey hole doesn't work, then I might hop in and we might go try to find uh, some deeper fish. Cause I, I think these fish moved off. This last week got really cold and I think these fish are all in a weird, you know, they're, they're moving. It's a lot different than last week. When did you go? It's been about a week, right? Yeah, these fish have changed a lot, but we're gonna go to this spot, see what's going on, and if they're not there, we're gonna try something completely different and try to find some big fish. Look at that. Get him. Big one? Uh oh. Big Steve got him on at the juice hole. Not a bad one. Little, guy. little spot. You load it up like a big one. That's, oh, that's, that's a large mouth, homie. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. If you guys didn't know, I mean, you don't catch large mouth on the near. That's a pretty little large mouth. You weren't recording. It's not. Come on, YouTuber. Dang it. It was off. Dang it. Yeah. What's it doing? I got a blue You're thing. Taking right photos, here. aren't you? Yep. Man. It's a little large mouth. That's some big bass energy right there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you loaded up on him, he seemed big. He didn't seem like that small. That's crazy. It's a little large. He's gonna catch his mama. A little largey. Where's your mama at, boy? Guys, as I always say, it's it's just good to get a fish in the boat. You know, it doesn't matter the size for the first ones. There he is. You got another one? He just whacked the heck out of me. Really? Oh, he just hit me again, huh? He's on there. Get him. Big him? Dude, they're down there. That's another <laughs> largemouth, isn't it? Yo, that's insane, actually. That's another largemouth. Oh, my God. Dude, that's crazy. Look at that. That is crazy, man. Yeah. Look at that. Big Steve got him another one, like, next cast right there. Look what he's got. He don't have a underspin. He doesn't have a fish head. He's got literally just a swim bait head. That's it. He got two of them. That's a little fat, chunky, dude. Nice. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Dude. Yeah, it's it. teeth marks are on it too. I just letting it sit. I didn't even move it. I just threw it in there, kind of let it sink to the bottom. I'm throwing a fluke. I don't know if I ever talked about this. It's the only other bait I tied on. You know, I have that underspin and then a, a little fluke. Oh, there he is. There he is. I got him. Oh, you got the good one. Yep. Oh, he ain't big. <laughs> Another largemouth. Look how he choked it, dude. It's crazy. That's good stuff. Choked man. that fluke. So far today, and they've all been largemouth. Really small, you know, that's that's not a big deal at all though. We just got on some fish right here. We caught what three and five minutes. Mm -hmm. And they've all been largemouth, and I've probably caught 20, maybe 15 largemouth in my lifetime fishing Lake Lanier. So to catch three right now is just kind of bizarre. They're not big, but um, still pretty little fish and got him on a fluke. My dad's got those last two on a swim bait. So get him back in the water. We still got to hunt for those big ones. The big bass that we're going to catch today, probably not going to be large now. It's probably going to be some big spots. So let's keep on covering some water. I think right here, we're going to continue to fish. What is going on? And uh, cause there's a lot of fish in this area, but uh, big Steve's taking the boat over the fish right now. So I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> What are you doing, man? I'm still. What? He's gonna run <laughs> over the fish. Like what is going on? He keeps nipping at it. He was nipping at it right there. Where are you at? There next to the jet ski dock. I can't just get this thing to sink. Oh, no, he's not. Yep, oh, there he is. I watched it. Dude, he, he, he missed it. I don't know, but I watched that. How big was that fish, dude? I watched his ass. Look, he got it. He got it. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a big spot. I haven't caught one of these in a minute. These things fight so good. It's a big spot. About three pounds. I thought he was four. Ah, 
Ah, oh, that's boy. a good one. He ain't three pounds. What do you say, high two? High two pounder, maybe? I just say he's <laughs> Look at that right there. Dude, he, I was like, dude, he had to miss it. You he, know what I mean? He hit it, he missed it. He came back, hit it again, missed it. And then he came back, swirled on it again. Gosh. The third time he got waylaid. I'll tell you, his lips are very sharp too. He's been eating bait fish. Look at that flute hanging out of his mouth right there. Pretty little spot. He's only about two and a half pounds. I thought he was, first I thought he was like a four pounder. Then I thought he was like a three pounder. And now he's like a two and a half. They shrink when they come to the boat. But hey, I ain't complaining. If I had a scale, I'd actually put him on the scale, but I, I bet you he's like about two and a half. These are hefty, hefty spots. This is one thing I love about spots, guys. The beautiful markings on these fish. Like you just look at their lateral line right there. It's got these beautiful black markings. And uh, there's overall really pretty bass. Like those largemouth that we caught a second ago, they're not as pretty as these spots. And uh, that's not a big spot by any means. I mean, on some lakes it is, but um, you know, I know we can catch a bigger one today, but that's a great start. You know, we caught four fish on this corner. On Big Steve's juice hole, I guess the guide trip paid off and my money was well spent, but <laughs> it's a pretty fish right there. Let's get a release back here. Should I? Yeah. What? Should I live well it? <sighs> you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're in largemouth territory. We could get like a crazy largey and I would want to take a picture of the spot next to him. Big dinosaur. Well, there we go, guys. That is our fourth fish of the day. The day has changed very quickly, which we haven't been out here long, but you know, we did pull up and catch four fish right there. I guess we're gonna work our way back right here, throw around, and um, we'll probably work our way back towards that mouth because there's just so many fish right there. So that fish just came up. We actually saw him roll on it and he just never had it. I popped it a couple more times. The fish came up, rolled on it again. And he had it that time and it was, a, it was a good little spot. Not a giant, but you know, it was a, it was a good little spotted bass right there. Hope we can find us a good three and a half to five pounder today, which is very possible. It's got to cover water. We only got a couple hours to fish, so. I was talking about a spot, but we could get a massive large one. Yeah, wouldn't that be crazy? I don't know. Just missed out on fish bites, and I guess I know exactly where to go. We're gonna catch one real quick. We're about to catch one. There he is. He hit me twice. Get him. That's a big one. He's a big one, boy. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. What'd I say? So I know we're going to catch one here. You got you, you a good it. spot. You called it. That's a good one. That's bigger than, it might be bigger than the one I caught. You going to grab him? Yeah, I can grab him. You want to boat flip him? I don't want to boat flip him once you reach down there and get him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah that's a nice one he ate it good too look at that big steve just got him about a two pounder he ain't as big as that last but he's a good one they're so thick and chunky look at them beautiful markings on them spots just pulled up to this spot this first spot that i looked at on the graph i just sat down and drove over here and it's a good fish there should be some more here it's a pretty spot what you want to say you want to show it to your cam i got that big bass energy baby that's a good you know one what's up? he ain't a mega but he's a good one what's up Oh, might as well. There's gonna be one on there. No, oh, that's a good one, ain't it? Oh, it don't matter. Just kidding. <laughs> you can about push me in the water. <laughs> He's in the same spot, wasn't he? Yeah. Another spot. Another good size. One, two and a half, maybe. Right there, brother. Oh, he's beautiful. Don't spit it. That's a good one. A little fat one. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Look at that. That one's got pretty colors on them, dude. Daddy Van Dam's getting her done. Look at this. He just... Was that your next cast? Two cast. No, later. two cast after. They're on the spot. We're going to catch some here. I'm excited. That's a good one. I might need to put me a little swim bait back on. That fish head that I got on so big, big profile, but it's a pretty spot. Just fat. <laughs> got one? I think right I got one. It's tiny, but... You good? <laughs> now that is a giant. Is what I'm calling big bass energy right there, yeah, homie. That's a, that's a large mouth too. That's serious, some big bass <laughs> energy right there. It's a freaking toad. <laughs> no, look at that one. You hope but that's still on the board. You're complaining earlier, You're like we're not counting size. Oh, we're not smack. counting size. Yeah, but we're we're talking about fish, not minnows. 
Yeah, we're gonna go to a new spot. We uh, we don't have much daylight left. And um, pretty much what I'm looking at, we're in, I'm not even gonna say the name of this creek actually. I've never fished up here before. Um, him and Perry come up here all the time. This is like largemouth territory. If you guys, you know, fish Lake Lanier, you probably know what creek I'm talking about. Um, I've, this is the first time I fished up here and it does fish a lot different. You know, you fish, if we were on the south end of the lake right now, we'd be fishing a lot different stuff. There's actually a lot of bait up there. What I'm looking for is pretty much these banks that have that steeper drop off. So, you know, when we came back in here, that first spot that we hit, it had a steep drop off. You could tell it was a big bluff bank with rock and clay. And uh, there's fish on it. We pulled up and got, got bit instantly. Even this one was the same way. We pulled up, got bit instantly. Um, so when you find a pattern like that, when you find what those fish are sitting on, you just duplicate it. So, you know, I found that first spot. I looked at the second spot that looked most similar to it. When I came over to it, it looked totally different, but uh, there's still fish on it, the way it sets up on the graph. So we're gonna hit one or two more spots. There's a couple good rocky spots over here that I think we can catch some fish on. There he is. I got him. There we go. You know, one down. Nope. That ties me up right here. No. Yes, it does. No. <laughs> what am I doing? It's a large. Down. It's another largemouth. Do we call more largemouth than spots today? How many is that? That's five largemouth out of eight fish. That's crazy. Spots have been the bigger ones, but it's a little fat guy. Look at that little fat largey. That's four to four. All right, sucker. All right, guys, we're going to release these good couple of spotted bass that we caught earlier. We had a couple other decent ones as well, but we didn't put them in the well. Those are some pretty fish. Took a little picture for the Instagram because I just never take any pictures anymore. So I was like, you know what? Today's a good day. Get a good picture with some spotted bass. Get them back in the water. That's a good little fat one. That was uh, the one I caught on a fluke. That was a good fish. Get oh, all right. Well, we had a good day today. Got Daddy Van Dam behind the camera. And uh, you know, he had a little competition going on today. We each caught four fish and I had the biggest one. I'm just saying, just throwing it out. And the smallest one though. And the smallest, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it, I think we're tied. I think today was a good even tie. I'll take a draw. I'll take a draw on today because I caught that minnow and then you caught those two small ones in the beginning. So it's fair enough. But I just had fun hanging out with my boy. Yeah, we had a good time and we're only out here for what? Three hours? Yeah three hours eight fish you can't complain i mean we're on a whole different part of the lake that i've never been to before so it was fun if you guys want to go check out the new uh toboggans yeah. toboggans yeah. go down below kickingtheirbass.com yeah. check you out a toboggan but thank you guys so much for the support if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you've been enjoying the content we've got a banger coming out next episode thank you so much Thank you.